Back to University Christian Football Complex, and Coach Chris Oliver here joins us. Coach, it's not uh, it's not often you get to do an interview under the lights on top yeah. of a press box. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of things Bob and I talk about. There's a lot of mistakes that were made tonight, but for the most part, you get out of here with a convincing win, and uh, you did exactly what you, you came yeah. to Florida to do, is, is to pick up a W. Yeah, you know, I told the team afterwards that, uh, you know, we, we – came and, and exactly that I, said, I think that's exact word we did what we came to do we want to know and, and um, you know that's a team that's really athletic they're going to win a handful of games I don't know if they're a great team uh, but they're they're athletic and their quarterback we knew he was going to he was going to pose some challenges and that young man is athletic um, and he is going to give teams trouble he, he's going to give you fits if he's healthy and, and fresh and uh, he, he exposed some things for us tonight and just some attention to detail for us, you know, in, in all three facets, you know, not just defense, but uh, offense, special teams. You know, this is a, a game I think we're going to watch a video. There was a lot of good. I mean, there were a lot of positives, and there were a lot of growing opportunities and learning opportunities uh, and things that we just need to shore up and get better at. So I think it's going to pay dividends for us. You know, I would have loved to be sharper. I would have loved to have uh, fewer penalties and, and just been a little bit cleaner and started the game better. Uh, then we did, but we finished well in the second half, and we were able to play a number of guys there towards the end, uh, get some guys their first college reps throughout the course of the game. So a lot of positives, uh, but you know a lot of a lot to learn from. We're going to see on the video too. One of the things that Bob and I talk about is yes, he was elusive. They're talking about the, the Ever Waters quarterback, and he got away a lot. But yeah. the fact that you your guys are putting so much pressure on the quarterback, yeah. forcing him outside the pocket. You're not going to come up against a quarterback that, that, that has those type of wheels too many times this year, if, if, for if, sure. if at all. Yeah, for sure. And we knew we had a big advantage with our D-line versus their O-line. And uh, I thought we had a good game plan as far as creating pressure. We just need to do a better job of you know, keeping our in the pocket. And you know, every time you bring a blitz, you're going to have somebody that's an edge guy or a C-gap rusher. And you know, there were some times we got a little bit greedy and ducked inside and didn't do a great job of keeping our contain. Uh, got a lot better in the second half. But we had some things we needed to clean up, and, and he's a good player. Uh, but it was nice to be able to put him in so many situations where he had to run and couldn't set his feet throw on time. Offensively, I thought your running game was, was stout tonight. Blake England obviously was, was terrific. Scored yeah. four times, three on the ground. And, and, and while there was not – your offensive line wasn't always clean. Uh, yeah. You had, had a few uh, false starts. For the most part, they opened up some big holes tonight. Yeah, I thought the offensive line played pretty well. I would have liked to see us finish a little bit better. Um, you know, some of the some of the uh, protections that went late in the play were maybe us not making a decision fast enough at quarterback. There was a little bit of that. I thought uh, Cameron played pretty well tonight, but there were some times when he held the ball longer than we would have liked. So there were some things there that you know we got to settle in and learn from. Uh, I thought overall the offensive line played a pretty solid game. Talking about Cameron, uh, did you did you get a sense uh, to start the game that there was a lot of jitters there? Because we didn't see a ton of them up here. Uh, no, he, he seemed pretty calm. I mean, he really did. You know, he's a, he's a laid back young man and uh, seemed pretty calm. Um, you know, but I think there were some things there that showed up tonight a little bit with holding the ball uh, mm -hmm. that maybe wasn't, uh, you know, isn't there at practice anymore. That's something he did a lot in high school. Uh, he came out of a, of a, of a, a high school team where they won a lot of games his senior year, but he had to run around a lot and make plays like that a lot. And you know, when he came into our program a couple years ago, he sort of had to break some of those habits. He has those good, you know, tools that you can do that, but you don't want to make that your only game. And you know, there were some things that I think regressed a little bit, uh, fell into those habits. And those are things that are going to happen when you're starting for the first time. So I thought he played a solid game, but you know, he'll continue to get better. Coach, want to know? Yeah, we'll take it, and uh, you know, ready to get on the bus and get back to, to beautiful Kentucky. Thanks, Coach, very much. Thank you.